This is Gene Key, KDD News. From Amarillo.com, fire officials are continuing their investigation into a fire at home in North Amarillo that left one person injured late Wednesday night. Amarillo Fire Department officials on scene in the 100 block of South Fairmont at about 10.30 p.m. The fire was declared under control minutes later. The property was described as one of two family dwellings. Property damage was light, estimated at $10,000. Fire officials said one person sustained injuries while re-entering the structure to attempt to control the fire. The Dumas Independent School Board met Monday evening in observation of Texas School Board Appreciation Month. Dumas Intermediate School teachers Kathy Bybee, Ashley Breland, and Tammy Stevenson were in attendance with some of their sixth grade math students. They gave the board an overview of the current math programs, with each of the students explaining what they liked about the class. Campus principals and students expressed their appreciation to the board, then presented them with a gift certificate and a thank you card. From MyHighPlains.com, Americans are apparently making progress in the battle against the bulge. A new Gallup poll shows slightly fewer adults in the U.S. were obese last year. More than 26% reported weight that falls into the obese category. More than 30% of the poll of 300,000 Americans reported weight in the normal range. Gallup found that young adults and those with high incomes were the least likely to carry extra pounds. African Americans, those with low incomes, and people ages 45 to 64 were the most likely to score as obese in the study. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.